what's going on, guys and gals? Chef PV here, ATXRC Productions, Troy, whatever you want to call me. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff. We are here today with, oops, our You Buy Drone or You Bad LaForge modules. So we got ours back. Um, anybody that's been following me knows that I had the LaForge modules already for almost a month or just over a month. Um, I actually did have a small problem that I could not pinpoint to the Little Forge or my goggle. I, I still honestly have not pinpointed it. I don't know if it was a small connection that was bad. I don't know if um, the battery I was using started going bad. I, I honestly I couldn't tell you. Um, but I did send the modules to Bruce because he's such a good dude. And he allowed me to get them out to him. He took a look at them. He actually upgraded them to the new firmware. He tested them. And I don't know if he sent me the exact same ones back or not, which I don't think he did because the B side is actually now the flipped side. So what I mean by that is this module here, um, when I had it last time, this uh, SMA actually was on the back side. So it allowed for everything to be on the front. Well, everything was basically on the front like this. Um, so the, the B side is definitely a new one. I don't know if he get, gave me the same A side or not. But I got these bad boys in yesterday, right? I plugged it back into my, my Dominator V2s, which you see opened up right here. I did the internal mount just as I did before. And in doing so, I plugged them up. And I got this video right here to show the issue that I thought I had. Yo, Bruce, I don't know what's going on. And so going in this on. video, you see Power, it's actually beeping and turning the modules off it, whenever it's supposed it to switch off. but I actually continue to get picture the entire time like it was just running key. off one module so I messaged Bruce and Bruce got back to me extremely quickly and said dude you got a bent pin check it out if you can't figure it out give you know Ivy a, a, a hit up so I took a look and sure enough you're not gonna really be able to see this um, but I'm gonna show you on the picture and you're still not gonna be able to see it but on this side of the diversity module on this connector two of the pins basically were touching and the easiest way to notice this and see if you actually have this problem is to take a look at the connector here and you'll see a picture of this too and it's going to be difficult to see but if you take a look at your connector pins the or the holes one of mine looked like it was smashed closed and one of them right next to it looked like it was bigger than all the rest so that was a perfect sign that something was wrong. I used the tip of my X-Acto knife and I just kind of opened up that little hole a little bit better just to where it was a little more uniform and I knew the pin could slide in. And I used the same tip of my knife and I went in here on the LaForge module and I just barely, and it was tough and I had to be very careful, but slid the knife in between the two pins and then just kind of bent it back into place. Once it was close enough, I just took the, the connector and I slowly slid it in place, got it in there, double checked everything, and then I flew a couple of flights with the little whoop or the tiny whoop, and it was, again, amazing. Um, it worked, everything was flawless, and I had no problems with the modules or no problems with my goggles up until I fried the ribbon cable. Yes, I fried my ribbon cable right here, and here comes a picture of that. But I want to warn everybody in how I fried the cable because it was my fault and I totally did this myself. It was not the module necessarily. Um, it was not anything to do with power consumption, 3S or 2S or whatever. <sighs> what I did was I had them powered on because I was just flying with them. In fact, I was literally, the, I hadn't even picked up the whoop off the floor. And I didn't have these things actually in all the way because I was just still testing that everything worked. And I kind of was holding the diversity side in place in my goggles, like with my hand. So I'm going to try to recreate and show you. So what I actually did... Was I had this module... And I had it on this side, and it was plugged in, and everything was powered on. And I was basically holding it in there with my hand, just like, I can't even explain. Like, I had the antenna on, so I was actually holding the antenna like this. And I moved it. Like, I took the goggles off, and I literally moved it like that. So, 
So when I moved it, this metal back plate of the heat shield touched the PDB and something else, I believe, at the same time. It basically touched, I think, that screw and, like, something else. And immediately it just shorted it out. I smelt it. I felt I heard it. Uh, and I even heard it as much as I saw it in my goggles. And I, I saw the um, LEDs dim on all the boards. And I just instantly knew I did something wrong. Um, but like I said, I shifted the module. And I, I know I touched that PDB with the metal portion here. Um, so that being said, it's not UBAD's fault necessarily. It's not you know a, a design flaw. Um, I've talked to Bruce about my thoughts on this, and I hope Bruce understands that I'm not calling them out in any way. Um, I did recommend and say, you know, ask why we don't get warned about maybe putting some edge covering on it or something. And, you know, his response was quite honest. He never really des designed or cared to put these things inside. He didn't want people modding their goggles, really. He wanted these made for really just on the outside. Um, that being said, he's not going to stunt people from, you know, doing what other people are doing. And it's proven that it's okay and it works. But if you're going to mod your goggles and put them on the inside, this is my solution that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to show you what I plan on doing. And I'm actually, I'm just going to do it. So... I'm going to use red tape just to show you, but I'm going to use some different, you know, tape and I'm going to put it around. I'm not going to cover this edge or this, this, uh, metal board because you don't want to cover it, but it is heat distribution. But what I am going to do is I am going to put it around all the connections, right? Something like that, maybe. Just around the edges obviously a slightly larger piece of tape go all the way around the edge on the back side what I would do or on the front side whatever side it is depending on which modules you have I again would probably take some tape do about like that Literally right there is pretty much I might even just leave this on there the way it is. That's perfect I just put two pieces of tape and I could have done this with one long piece And I've wrapped the edges. I've covered up the connectors here It's ready to go. That's how I'm gonna start mounting this. whenever I put this one when I go to put the next one in my next goggle or in these goggles again It's getting wrapped up just like that. That should protect me from touching any of these edges and I won't lie, I even think I'm going to go ahead and run a piece of tape. Might as well just show you. I think running this piece of tape would actually probably be a good idea too. Just lay it down right over the board. Right there. Protect your board there. Um, that's how I would do it. So... Again, not you bad, not Shay's fault. This was pilot error, if you would, right? So there you go. Um, the LaForge module is working great, though. I did. I mean, I'm not going to show you the footage, but I can show you footage. of It's amazing. These modules did work. I didn't burn them up because of anything other than my own fault. You guys, fly safe, fly smart, fly for fun, fly you bad, fly LaForge, fly Chef PV. Peace.